Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Wednesday, August the 6th, 2014. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch this video, retweet, post, subscribe, do all that good stuff we do in social media land to build a quality community of globally like-minded individuals. Blah. All that good stuff. So, sip of coffee because I got up early this morning. I was... I did um, <clears throat> the Dead Air Paranormal Show, George's Lopez Show, and on that platform he has um, a show with Andrea Perrin called A World Awakening. And Andrea was the oldest daughter in the movie The Conjuring, and she has written her third book. You've got to go listen to the show. The first 30 minutes they talk about some fascinating things. I kept forgetting that I was going to be called on the show. I was like, I'm listening and enjoying it. I'm um, talking about hauntings and possessions and, and things like that. Possessions like objects, not possessions of people. Although I know they were talking about that. And then I got to come on and, and talk and, and chat with these people and do some a wonderful reasons. So readings. So Dead Air Paranormal with George Lopez. He's got several shows on during the week on Blog Talk Radio. So you can just go to blogtalkradio.com, search Dead Air Paranormal, find it. Or um, also A World Awakening on that channel, A World Awakening on Facebook, Andrea Perrin or George Lopez on Facebook. Find them there. Amazing, wonderful show. But we were up till about 1130 last night and the dogs... They don't care what time I went to bed, um, and they get to sleep all day. So they woke me up, but I am, was so jazzed and had such a good time last night. Um, so check them out. Um, there will be more to come there. That I can feel. So don't forget, um, you can go to my Facebook, um, Intuitive Mitchell, Facebook forward slash, Facebook.com forward slash Intuitive Mitchells, and post a question there. That's where it's got to be, although Spirit did say some people just abhor Facebook. So you can also, in the, in the notes below this video, you'll see Intuitive Mitchell at Gmail. You can post a question there. That Those two places I'll allow that to happen because then I can keep them. Um, the questions on development or what's going on today. I'm going to talk about pendulums and how they work. That was the question that Spirit told me to choose today out of the uh, multitude of questions I got. Um, so if your question doesn't get on, you know, don't be afraid to ask it another month or two. But uh, as the list gets longer and longer, I will let Spirit direct me to them. I am reading them all, and I may put just a smiley face to say thank you. But um, I'm balancing my time in my life because that's what I preach to you guys. So I am, I am starting to get heated up again. And yesterday someone real quick said, what does that mean? For me, what that means is I'm getting focused. I'm getting uh, you know, in tune with spirit. And sometimes the heat is me just vibrating really high and allowing energy to, and healing to come through, come out. Sometimes it's just me accepting the healing and the energy. But usually it's about the energy is coming out of me and someone really needs that healing energy. So allow it, accept it if you are someone that needs healing of any way, shape, or form. So today, number six, sixth day of the eighth month of the seven year. So that's kind of cool, six, seven, eight right there. It's lining up. But six is our lover's card. And that can mean that today you're going to find a lot of energy about coming together, unions. Maybe it might involve your significant other. Maybe it might involve a soul contract with an animal or a family member. So look to relationships today. Look to things of commitment like contracts, like business partners, things like that. That area is what will probably be popping up and make and be making you aware of what's going on. All the numbers of today add up to 21, which that card is the, um, oh, what's the last card of the deck? <laughs> the world card, which is closing things off, the closing the chapter off, ending things. So within the realms of what I just said about relationships, soul contracts, business commitments, and things like that, there might be some endings. There might be some closing of chapters. There might be some cutting things off. But the beautiful thing about card 21, the ending of the major arcana, it also boils down to card number three, which is our, our mother card, that empress card, the birth beginning to start. So as these things start to end, as you think about closing the chapter, putting the book back on the shelf of whatever this connection, contract, relationship might be, there's something brand new and fresh starting right away. The old thing, one door closes, another one opens. You know, my thought is if... if one door closes, kick the other door open, um, open the other door, or look for it. You know, sometimes you're just sitting there waiting for it to fly open. You might need to open it. And what I posted yesterday about you open the door and you're waiting for things to be supplied to you, you know, sometimes you might figure out, oh, wait a minute, I'm the one creating my life, so I need to walk through the door and create the path and the journey that I'm on. 
So there's the energy for that and for today. Let me pull a Lenormand card to kind of give us a little more connection. So this is 28, which is you. This is the man. Uh, this and could, could be the significant other in your life. And it is 28 boils down to 10. So that's our wheel and our magician. It's also ace of heart. New emotional beginning. So I like that this is going along with some of the theme for today. Tear card to go along with this. From, oh, wish card. This is nine of cups. This is more heart energy. And this ultimately is a card of wishes fulfilled, of creating and manifesting what you want. So as you deal with these closings and openings of chapters and, and eras of your life, and as you're dealing with a significant other or person or, or being, you know, realize you're the one creating your path. You're drawing the energy to you. What you think becomes, you know, a belief is just the thought you keep thinking over and over and over, quoting um, Esther Hicks from Abraham. Um, so, yeah, so if you if you believe it and you feel it in your heart, then it will probably come true. Um, uh, yes, had someone on the show last night that she said something to the fact of, and I hope you're watching today. You were the, one of the ones that I said watch today. Probably why, because Spirit just reminded me. You said, oh, I just keep having bad luck. You're creating that. As hard as that is for some people to feel, and you're not a victim to this world and the life and the circumstances. You are, Ray Setti, who was on Cosmic Caffeine, said we create, co-create, and sometimes miscreate. And the miscreate is often what I would call worry or thinking worst case scenario. And you're miscreating because you're kind of like, I don't want, I don't want. Well, that's what you're thinking about. So then you miscreate it because it you're creating it, but you're missing what you want because you're thinking about what you don't want. So great data, create something, especially within the realms of relationships, et cetera, et cetera. So the message that came through, um, or, and it was actually from you, not from beyond, that message was about pendulums and about how to use them. Let me tell you, if you've never encountered or worked with a pendulum, do it. It is so fun. For me, it's a little bit laborious and arduous. I think those are good words I could use um, uh, because what you're doing is, you know, and I've taught classes on pendulums, so I'm going to put this in a nutshell. Basically, a pendulum is usually a, a piece of metal or a rock that is hanging on the end of a string, a thread, a chain of some sort. It needs to kind of have some weight. Wood, plastic objects are not always the best. Stones are amazing. You know, you can take a wing, a wing, a wedding wing, a wedding ring, um, and hang it on the end of a thread or a chain. Um, some people, you'll see them, they'll pull it right off the neck and, and douse. It's called dousing, D-O-W-S-I-N-G. Dousing is what you do with a pendulum. It's where you see the old man with two wire rods and they try to find water. That's dousing, that's energy. Now, um, the cool thing, um, it, some of the best pendulums somebody made for me. And I like a thread that's or a string that's probably going to be about 8 to 9 to 10 inches. But I've had one that's about 6 or 7 inches. It works well too. But I like it a little bit more weight and swing on it. But look up pendulum. You can find charts that you lay down, hold the pendulum over, and can spell out names, can show you energy forecast. That's a whole class I will be teaching one day in the future once the base of people is big enough to support that. Because um, I've tried it and none of y'all showed up. But the base of people and those who are wanting this is getting bigger. So it will happen one day. But the question was, you know, they were holding it. And I often say, put your hand below and hold the pendulum above. And that way the energy between you and your hand is there. The question was, somebody who was doing the pendulum, their friend said, oh, you're moving it. Well, of course you're moving it. That's it. If you, Because they talked about they hung it up on something and tried to get it to move, and it didn't. Do I believe it can move on its own? Absolutely. But that's not typically how a pendulum works. What the belief behind the pendulum and what I've studied and what I've worked with, the belief is you're connecting to it. You're trying, you're not purposely swinging it, but your higher self knows. Your higher self knows. And it's a gentle and a subtle swing that you really can't even tell. So are you, you know, can I sit there and fake it? Oh my gosh, yeah, I can fake this so easily. But so I can fake this anything. I can tell you what I'm seeing on the other side. Oh, this is your life path. This is that. I can fake that too, but oof, I don't want to deal with that karma. So when you use a pendulum, first engage the pendulum. Hey, 
may I come to you? May I use you? Connect with that energy. If you're going to buy one, buy one that resonates. Don't just grab it off the shelf and go. If someone gifts it to you, that's a beautiful thing usually. But, you know, cleanse it, clear it, clean it, because it came from somewhere else. Make it your own. Hold it to your heart. Invite it in like you might be meeting a friend. And then hold it and find, hold it and say, show me yes. And yes may be forward and back. Show me no. It may be side to side. Yes may be in a circle. And then once you've got the yes or no aspect of it, you can ask it simple questions. You know, should I go to work today? Yes. But phrasing the question is so important. Should I go to work today because I'm going to have a safe trip or because I'm going to need a paycheck and won't get fired? Or should I go to work and I'm going to get in a wreck, which is going to change the trajectory of my life for the better? You know, so how you phrase it. That's why I said it can be laborious and arduous because it's how you phrase the questions and then how you connect with that energy. So my belief and what I've read is it's higher self energy working. It's just like muscle testing. You know, when you hold that um, item to your heart and you ask, is this healthy or good for me? And you lean away from it. No. If you lean to it, yes. That's simple kind of muscle testing. And what I've done with even that muscle testing is set an energy, set an intention that that's how it's going to work with me. I said to how that higher self spirit, this is how this works. Use my body as a human pendulum for dousing. So. Um, are you moving it? Yes, but that's your higher self connecting with you. Hopefully you're not doing it on purpose, and I know who this is, and I know you're not doing it on purpose. So enjoy that. Read up on Pendulum. Fascinating and fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Check out intuitivemessenger.org. The animal spread, communication spread is still there. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if I did an article on Pendulums. I don't know if I did, but there's columns and articles that I've written and book suggestions and things like that. Ray, oh, what is his last name? Raymond Grace. Raymond Grace. That is a person who, if you get his book on dowsing, it's amazing. That's where most of my um, education came from for, for dowsing and pendulum work. So I will talk to you later. What do we got going on? Cosmic Caffeine Sunday night. Go listen to the archive of uh, A World Awakening last night from the Dead Air Paranormal site. And um, I think that's about it. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.